Hey booktube, it's Thea and this is going to be my January haul. So for January I have a total of seven new books to add to my shelf so I'm really excited to make some room on my shelf for these new books. So let's go ahead and dive right in and show you guys what I bought for January. So the first book that I actually got in January came from my new uh, Blue Spider Books subscription box, which if you haven't seen my unboxing for, I'll link that down below. My friend's sister got me a six month subscription, so it's gonna be really fun to kind of see the randomness of the books that are coming. And the book that was in that box is called The Black Company by Glenn Cook. This is a start of a fantasy series. It's an older fantasy, it came out in like the 80s. Um, it seems interesting and something I've never heard of. It says here, some feel the lady newly risen from centuries in thrall stands between humankind and evil. Some feel she, some feel she is evil herself. The hard bitten men of the black company take their pay and do what they must, burying their doubts with their dead until the prophecy. The white rose has been reborn somewhere to embody good once more. There must be a way for the black company to find her. This sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I have been really itching to read a really good fantasy lately. And I'm all about kind of being introduced to some new fantasy. And this is something I've never heard of. So I'm really excited to dive into this. I took a recent trip to my used bookstore. And this is where I acquired the next five books on this um list and that's a lot for me to haul at once. I don't normally haul this many but it was they were great finds. I couldn't pass them up and the first one here is Geektastic Stories from the Nerd Herd edited by Holly Black. Um, I don't know much about this other than it's a YA anthology that focuses on like geek culture and fandoms and this seemed perfect for me. I'm a huge geek. I love fandoms. There's things like Star Wars, Doctor Who, Star Trek, um, I assume Harry Potter's probably in here. Um, Rocky Horror Picture Show, D&D, &D, comic books, um, a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm really excited to dive into this. It doesn't really seem like there's a lot of talk about this on booktube. I don't know if it's just not well known or if it's underrated, but I'm really excited to try this. There's also a lot of authors in here that I've never actually read from. Lilba Bray, Garth Nix, Scott Westerfeld, David Levithan, who I have read from. Um, Cassie Clare's in here, who is huge in YA, Sarah, uh, Sarah Czar, John Green. So there's some really um, big names in here as well as some not so big names, but I'm really excited to dive into this. And I love anthologies, so this is going to be a lot of fun. I basically almost screamed. I got so excited when I found these at my used bookstore. Um, and that is This Savage Song, and Art Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. Victor, I mean, we all love Victoria Schwab. You either love her or you hate her here on booktube. I fall into the love category. Love her books. Love her writing style. Um, I have been wanting to read these forever. These are very good condition. They're both used, but they're basically brand new. And this one is apparently really hard to find. Um, but I'm really excited to dive into these and officially have them now for my shelves. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but I really would like to get to it this year. This one's way thicker than I thought it was, but I'm super excited to dive into these. I also found a copy of Unburied Carol by Josh Mallerman. This is actually the ARC copy. Um, I loved Bird Box when I read it two years ago, and um, I got super excited when I found this. This is his most recent novel. I believe it came out like April of 2018. And I've been wanting to read it forever and finding an art copy was super cool and a lot of fun So I'm really excited to dive into this if you don't know what it's about Basically uh, Carol is a woman who has died many times and she always comes back her deaths are more like coma um, Only two people know about Carol's condition one is her husband Dway Dwight who married her for her fortune and when she laughs into another coma plots to seize it by proclaiming her dead and quickly burying her alive um, and the other is her lost love, outlaw James Moxie. When word of Carol's dreadful fate reaches him, Moxie rides the trail again to save his beloved from an early unnatural grave. All the while, awake and aware, Carol fights to free herself from the crippling darkness that binds her, summoning her own fierce will to survive. As the players in this drama of life and death fight to decide her fate, Carol must in the end battle, in the end battle to save herself. The haunting story of a woman literally bringing herself back to from the dead. 
Unburied Carol is a twisted take on the Sleeping Beauty myth that will stay with you long after you've turned the final page. I've heard that this isn't as good as Bird Box, and most people don't like it as much as Bird Box, but I'm super intrigued. I've been wanting to read it for a long time, so I'm super excited that I have this. I also found a copy of The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Agents Legendary Edition. This is the manga series that um, follows the story from the video games, and my boyfriend is a huge Legend of Zelda fan, and while I'm not a huge fan of playing, I really enjoy watching him play, um, and I've been really intrigued into learning more about the story. So these have been really fun for me to read and be invested in the story a little bit more and kind of know the story. And the manga, the art style is absolutely adorable, and it's so much fun to read these. They are not the cheapest things new. I think brand new, they're like almost $20. But when I found this for $9, I knew I had to get it. And we've been trying to slowly collect them. So I'm really excited to finally read this one as well. And the last book for this haul is actually the first book that I have bought brand new full price in a really long time, like new release. And that is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I, like I said, I don't buy brand new releases at full cover price really at all unless it's like a pre-order of something that I like really, really want. Um, I know everyone on booktube loves this. This is raved about everywhere. It's one of the most talked about books I think of 2018. Um, and people just love this and I have a really high expectations for this and I have a lot of people's opinions who I trust who really like it. So I figured it was worth a little bit of a splurge to go ahead and pick it up. It's also an autographed copy so that's really exciting as well. I know The Wicked King just came out so I'm really excited to read this now so that I can pick up The Wicked King if I like it. But this was a splurge, a little splurge buy for me since I don't buy brand new, since I don't buy new releases, like full cover price really at all. Um, I really hope it's worth, I really, really hope it's worth it. But um, from everyone who loves it, it seems like it's worth it. And I'm really excited to finally get on this Cruel Prince hype train and give this a try. So these are the seven books I hauled in January. Did you guys haul anything January? Um, if you read any of these, Obviously, everyone has read this, <laughs> um, but if you've read any of these, I'd love any thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. For, I'm really excited for this haul for the start of the year. I feel like there's some great choices in here, and I'm really excited to dive into all of these. Let me know down in the comments below if you would like a review on anything. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you like my content, feel free to hit that subscribe button if not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!